Hello TDS friends and family, family and friends. Welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. All right, so on today's video, as you can see, I've got a few evolutions packs. Uh, one of my really good friends uh, that I was on the USS Nimitz with uh, requested this video. So I'm gonna open up these packs for him so you can see all the old art, very nostalgic. Um, so we got these four little packs right here. We got a booster box and a little blister box with this Mega Venusaur pin. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up first just so I can get this pin out of here because as you can see I have this little guy back there. So add that to the collection. Get a little more comfortable. So as you know it comes with this uh, Phantom Forces pack, which, you know, that's all right. I guess I'll just set that off to the side. This is purely evolutions. So if you want to uh, find out what's in the Phantom Forces, we'll open that at the end. But we got these two evolutions packs in here. And then we got this booster box. Here's the, uh, the pin, by the way. Set this off to the side. I'm gonna set that right there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. There you go, Venusaur. Uh, we got these little packs. I'm just going to open up all the packs right now. Uh, as you guys know, there are the, the uh, Evolution packs, a little coin, and then this promo card in there as well, which I'm just going to... There's the Greninja promo. Little coin. And there's the, I'm just going to show you the Weezing promo. I'm just going to open these up, get it out of the way. I'm going to open up that booster pack as well, take all those packs out, and uh, we can get going. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal, I think. So bear with me. I'm going to try and open these packs as fast as I can, um, but also as slow as I can so you guys can, uh, you know, enjoy the content. So just get all these open um, as you guys know there is a giveaway going on there are two links down below one for code cards one for actual cards go ahead and enter if you are international I cannot uh, ship them out to you the code cards I can ship the cards out but not the code cards so just refrain from um, Entering for that giveaway, please. And then I'm just all jumbled right now. I don't even know how to. Add. This is my first ever booster box opening. So, Bo, you're the man. Uh, I'm really excited for this. Honestly, I've never done something like this before. So, let's go ahead and take all these suckers out. Set them off to the side. I'm gonna start with the. Uh, little blister pack packs that we got so really excited um, I'm gonna do a new way of doing the card tricks so you see that it's all that it's an all green code card that means that there's not gonna be a uh, very good rare in there so I'm not gonna do the card trick on that so we got let's see if I can get this down the way I'm sitting is very awkward, by the way. So I kind of had to rig something up for now. So we got Rattata as the reverse hollow. Then we got Beedrill. Of course, it's not going to be holographic. So that's what the whole point of the uh, code card thing is. There's a code card for you guys. Um, basically, if there's a green code card, that means that there's not a special card in there. And then if there's a white code card, that means that there's a, you know, Hyper rare, or full art, or holographic, or something like that. So let's see if we can get. You know, set this code card off to the side. So we got Pikachu. Starmie is the reverse. Yeah, he. Uh, so my buddy Bo, he had requested this video. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of requests, probably just for like really close personal friends like him, only because, you know, at this point in my life, I really don't have the uh, the money to just go buy 
whatever people want me to open. So another green one. So, um, but you know, he's a really good friend of mine and he had said he likes the evolutions packs a lot. So I thought, why not? We'll do this for him. He's a good friend. We got a, uh, Starmie break card. So these break cards do take the place of the, um, reverse hollows. You have to like hold my arms out all weird. So if I'm blowing the cards, I'm, re I'm really sorry about that. This will be the only video that's like that though. Um, I should, I do have a new desk coming in in a couple days, so I should have that all set up by the time of my next video. So I'm really glad that I opened up these, um, these little packs first, because obviously, you know, I think that these packs are kind of a jip in a sense because you don't really get that many good cards. So we got Electrode as the reverse rare hollow, so that's a good reverse rare. Happy with that pull. So yeah, I think I'm kind of steering clear of um, buying these packs, honestly. It's just kind of a, ooh, so we have a white. Oh, no, no, the code's just showing. So it's green. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a waste of money, you know? I mean, honestly, yeah, I'm trying to build up my collection, my son's collection, but at the same time, it's like, I, do I want to spend money on something that isn't going to give me, you know, a really good, a really good product or, or what, you know? So there are a lot, a lot of secret rares in this set and they are very common. They're pretty much so common that they're not even secret. So I got excited again because this one was facing the other way. So green, that means nothing. Reverse rare Beedrill. All right. All right. So those are over. Nothing good out of those packs. This is where the magic is going to happen. I just watched a video earlier today of a YouTuber opening up these packs. And I think he had like, I want to say at least 10 hits. Uh, so pretty excited about this. First booster pack opening. Of course, the first one's a green card, so nothing too special there. It's all right, though. A lot of cards coming. I'm really excited to sort these all out. We got Drowsy as the reverse hollow, and Electrode is the rare. Really excited to sort these all out, um, put them in my son's binder. There's a code card for you. I forgot. Throw that one down. Just because this set is the most nostalgic set I have ever opened. So you see this one? So see how this is white and green? That means that there's gonna be hit in this one. So basically what I'm gonna do is do, uh, I think this card trick is three to the front, flip her around, and here we go. So I'm excited, I'm excited. This should be the first hit. Bo, what do you think it is? I'm thinking a Charizard. Of course, that would be nice, but you never know. So we got Brock's Grit as the reverse hollow, and <sighs> what a guess, Bo. Thank you very much. This is an awesome card. I'm very happy with this pull. Mega Charizard EX, first hollow out of this pack. This is gonna be a good booster box. So I'm gonna set this little guy right there so you guys can just bask in the glory that is Charizard right there. You know, I noticed I'm kind of holding these off to the left. I'm going to hold them more in the center. Um, I thought I would need room for my face, but... All right, so green code card, nothing special. Flip it around. We got Poliwag. But yeah, so first hit out of this box is a Mega Charizard. I mean, I could not ask for anything better than that. So thank you, Bo, for suggesting this video. Right off the bat, I get a good pull. I hope you're enjoying. I'm sorry I'm all over the place, guys. I'm just like really excited about all this. I know I'm kind of jumbling up my words and I'm sitting very uncomfortably right now. So, green code card. Star U is the reverse.
Yeah, um, so he's been giving me a lot of advice. He um, does a lot of photography and videography. So he's been giving me a lot of advice on what I should do with, you know, lighting, cameras, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, he's, he's a huge supporter of the channel and I really appreciate everything that, you know, all the advice that he's given me. We've been friends for a long time. Like I said, we were on the Nimitz together. We went on a deployment together. Me too is the rare non-holographic. And, you know, we, we just became very close. And throughout the years, obviously, I go to a different duty station. He goes to a different duty station. You know, contact kind of falls short, you know. We have our own schedules, that, our own lives. And uh, I started this YouTube channel, and he just started talking. He's like, hey, man, you're doing really good, this, that, and the other thing. And he just requested this video. So I was like, of course, you're a good friend. And uh, the other day he was texting me and he's like, hey man, can I give you some advice? I was like, yeah, sure, you know? He's like, hey, fix your lighting, take your hat off, you're a handsome guy, thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he just, he's been giving me tips and tricks and, you know, all the support is just super highly appreciated. I words just can't explain, you know, and especially having somebody that you, you know, used to work with basically support the channel is, is really cool. So my card stack's already fallen over. So I'm just trying to fix it up here. But, ooh, nine tails is a uh, break card. Like I said, takes the, here, I'll show that to you. Takes the place of the uh, reverse hollow. But yeah, so he was actually, trying to buy a couple packs of these out and down and sadly they're out of print now so three to the front Let's see if we can get something good but sadly they're out of print so I was giving them some advice some websites to go to if you guys have any really good websites that you like um, you know just comment down below what they are I'll check them out so we got a reverse rare poly whirl and, or sorry, that's uncommon. I was thinking Polyrath. And we got a Gyarados, all right. So as you know, this is my favorite Pokemon. I do have one of these from the Evolution set already. Um, I do wanna see if, I can already tell that this is gonna get a bad grade from PSA just cause it's so far to the left. But I do wanna send one of these in and get it graded. So very, very exciting. So we're already at about 13 minutes here so I'm gonna start speeding her up um, just because I don't want to go too long on this video so we got Machoke of course Raticate my favorite so the one card that I am looking for out of this set other than that Mega Charizard is you know I really want that all the, the old hollows so Zapdos, Nidoking, you know Chansey I think Chansey was a rare in this set, so. Let's see if we can get her. But other than that, I hope everybody is enjoying this channel. I'm trying to turn it from a channel into more of a, oh my goodness, are you kidding me right now? Dragonite EX. This is a beautiful card. It's one of those textured cards. It is a, so it's not a secret rare. I think the only secret rares are the older uh, rares that were in the sets before. So that is a gorgeous card. Bo, you did me good. Very happy with this. I just, I am so happy with this set. This is definitely probably one of my favorite series though. Um, it's just, like I said, it's nostalgic, you know, I was, what, eight, nine, ten years old when this game came out, the card game, and, uh, you know, just looking back at all these cards is amazing, but I, what was I talking about before? Oh, so the cards that I'm looking for are the, uh, um, you know, old Zapdos, the old Nidoking. King, you know, that Gyarados is awesome. I'd love to, I've never pulled a base set style Charizard Hollow, and if I get one of those this uh, booster box, I will lose my mind. So let's see if we can pull it. Pikachu as the reverse, and we got 
a Mega Slowbro EX. All right, so I already do have that card, but it's okay because it's still a really nice card, right? Plus, the more that I have, you know, I do want to start sending them into PSA and get them graded. Just because, you know, I don't really have any graded cards yet. But that's all right. I am looking online. You know, I'm looking at the base set um, PSA graded cards, but they are kind of spendy. And I, yeah, I just don't think I would want a PSA card of anything else, you know? Um, did I do the card trick for that? Oh. Um, I just don't think I'd want another series, you know? I, I mean, yeah, are they worth money? Yes. But at the same time, they, they're kind of just there for show, you know? Like, I don't want something there for show. I want something that I can look at and, you know, it's part of the actual collection, not just sitting out. So maybe down the road I'll start buying some PSA cards from newer series, but other than that. Or maybe if I, you know, buy a mystery box or something the, of the nature. So we got one of these fairy, um holographics as the reverse and we got Hitmonchan. All right, so this is like what I was talking about with the uh, you know, old style holographics. This is just very nostalgic. Everybody wanted one. You know, everybody had to have a holo card. You were you weren't the cool kid if you didn't have a holo card. So and I didn't have a lot. I actually remember I traded a uh, holographic. I can't remember what the holographic card is that I traded, but I traded it for like a Diglett. I think actually no, it was I think it was a holographic Doug Trio if I'm not mistaken, and I traded it for like a Rattata or Sancho or something like that, and the kid talked me into it, and it was because like, I want to say the attack did, had, you know, higher damage, so I thought it was a good deal. I got chipped, you know, I, I was young. He was young too, so I was surprised he knew so much about it, but then again, Porygon, Surfing Pikachu, so this is actually the first secret rare we've pulled. Um, very very common for a secret rare, which I think is kind of weird, but this is going to be fun to sort through and clean up later, I can tell you this much. That's probably my favorite part of this whole thing, honestly, like, yeah, it's a kind of a hassle to sort and, you know, pick out what cards are the good ones and, you know, because in my collection, I'll pull the cards out and, uh, I'll check the sides and the back, you, you know, that's how PSA grades them, they'll look at the sides and, you know, how much more wide one side is the other, top and bottom, all that, if you didn't know. That Dragonite's looking at me like I accomplished something today, you know, that's, I'm very happy with that. Electabuzz is the reverse. Of course, my favorite Raticate. Can't even pull him in a holographic. Another secret rare, here comes Team Rocket. Magmar is the final card. So this is the last uh, pack of that first row in the booster box. So after this, we have 18 left. And it did me good. Got one of those white codes, so we'll do three to the front. I don't even, oh, so another secret rare, the Japanese Executor, Executor. The Trio, Reverse Rare, and look at that, Mega Blastoise EX. Very nice, I'm gonna cover up Charizard with that. So hopefully we can get, uh, you know, the Mega Venusaur EX, that'd be pretty cool. Pull all three starter evolutions, Mega Forms, and one booster pack. I don't think I could ask for anything better, honestly. I mean, that's that that'd be something. That'd be something. I want to say Leonhart did it, but then again, he's done a lot of things. So who really knows? Haunter is the reverse. That's a very cool looking reverse, honestly. A lot of these reverses are really cool. I, you know, I didn't really. So I think I stopped um, collecting around the Neo Genesis time frame, and so I missed all the, you know, introduction of the reverse hollows and uh, stuff like that, so opening these packs and just seeing a lot of them. I mean, I know on the evolution sets, they, they really don't look as good as some of the uh, newer series, but at the same time, it's still pretty, pretty cool to see, so, and just how much Pokemon's evolved throughout the years from the card game to the actual game, so we got Blastoise Spirit Link as the reverse, and we got a Magneton. 
all right, all, <laughs> this is, the, the nostalgia is kicking in, so I don't think I could be happier. Do these have the same moves as the cards did in the past? I mean, obviously the, they didn't have the mega evolutions in the, the old sets, but do these have like, did the, the base set have Thunder Wave and Self Destruct for Magneton? You know what I mean? I'm wondering how much they've changed it throughout. But yeah, so. Bo is my boy, Bo is my boy. Convince me to buy this booster box and only the best for my son. I see the camera keeps going in and out of focus. I need to figure out how to stop that from happening. We got a Nitto King break card. All right. Starmie is the rare, rare and of course non holographic. I'm still researching, I'm still doing a whole lot of things. Um, you know, trying to figure out camera angles, lighting angles, this, that sort of thing, you know, but. Steel. Are Steel and Fairy. Hmm. I don't even know if they're in the evolution set unless they like added a card or something. So I think what I'm going to do. So we got that. Let's see what we can get out of this one. If it's the Venusaur, I'll. Uh, Probably cry. Probably not, but it'd still be pretty cool. Farfetched, and we got Clefairy. So there is Fairy. They switched it. I think Clefairy was normal before, so um, they switched it up. All right, very cool. So I wonder what Steel is then. I wonder what Steel is. trying to think of what steel would be. Nidoran is the reverse hollow. Radicate, non-holographic, of course. Still can't pull it in a hollow. So it looks like my face camera um, died on me. So I'm just gonna continue filming this as is. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the card trick. See, everything's screwing me up. <laughs> Mega Venusaur EX. All right, look at that. So it happened. You know, we pulled all the Megas. I'm just going to set all those right there. That's the textured one, too. That's nice. That is nice. So, yeah, my uh, face camera took a crap on me. So it looks like this video is just going to be this camera, which is quite sad because my friend Bo had given me all these. You know what, I'll probably just edit it in to where it died off and I'll probably just finish it off with this just because, you know, it's the whole point of having the face camera. I've had this happen a couple times where the camera dies on me and it is no fun whatsoever. No fun whatsoever. Ooh, let's see what we can get here. Hoping for that, uh, you know, I don't even know what I'm hoping for now. I'm I'm a happy camper. This has been a great set, you know. This has been a good box. Those first couple blisters weren't that good, but that's all right. Charmander is the reverse. And we got Mewtwo EX. Wow. This box has been doing me good. I am very happy with this. First booster box. Of course, my camera has to say that it's full, even though I deleted all the memory on it beforehand. So I know that... Something obviously, I don't know. That's all right. 
Radicate reverse. All right, so I'll take that. Finally, something something hollow with Radicate, you know. So the sound quality probably is going to be a little bit different now. I'm sorry about that, guys. Let's see what we can get. Maybe it'll be the Radicate. Radicate rare. That'd be nice. Or Polyrath. I could go for a Polyrath. Just because I have have the others. Upside down Electabuzz. All right. Nidorino as the reverse. And we got Mew. All right. So is this a... It's not a secret rare. So we got Mew, Mewtwo. We got the the uh, Starter Evolutions Mega Forms. I mean, I, the only thing that would make me happier is a Charizard. And you know what? If I don't get it, that's all right, because this has been a great box anyways. So, Ponyetta. I would like an Arcanine Hollow, too. I haven't pulled that from the Evolutions yet. Arcanine used to be my favorite Pokemon. Not really. Gyarados, Gyarados has always been my favorite Pokemon. But Arcanine was up there just, I think it's Fire-type, honestly, um, for Gen 1. So, my favorite Pokemon in Gen 1 were Vileplume for Grass-type, um, Arcanine for Fire, Gyarados overall, but for Water, uh, Magneton as the Electric, Alakazam for Psychic, um... Oh, I can't even think right now. I can't even think right now. I should have had you guys ask me that. And I would have answered it in my monthly Q&A. But, of course, I forget. Voltorb is the reverse. And we got Charizard EX. All right. So we got Mega Charizard. We got Charizard. Oops. I do sleeve these up afterwards, too. So don't worry about all that. So this is the second to last pack. It's been really fun looking at all these cards again. Sorry about the camera again. Um, you know, I'm just kind of wanting to film this for my buddy. We got another secret. And uh, let's hope for some last pack magic, Bo. Let's hope. I looked at the camera like it was still there. Uh, but let's hope for some last pack magic. Let's see. No magic today. That is all right. I will give you guys this code if you're still watching. Let me know what you guys get in the codes down below. Uh, seal is the reverse. Uh, Surfing or flying Pikachu, another rare. And there's that code. So we will go through the cards that we got, all the hits. I'm gonna go like this. All righty, so. We got Charizard, Mega Venusaur EX, Mega Blastoise EX, Mega Charizard EX, Magneton, Gyarados, Clefairy, Dragonite EX, Mewtwo EX, Mega Slowbro EX, Mew, and Hitmonchan. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the camera quality. Uh, if you guys stayed until the end, I'm sure. A few of you guys dipped out, but you know, it happens. Um, for some reason it said my memory was full on my camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, Bo.